How's it going everybody and welcome back to Lead Therapy. I usually don't make two videos in one day, but while I was editing my video that I just posted about the Taliban confiscating guns from Afghan citizens, I found out this information that I thought I would share with you guys as soon as possible. And for once, it's really good Second Amendment news. And it comes out of the state of Hawaii. A federal district court rules two Hawaii gun control laws violate the Second Amendment. When people think about gun control, the first states that come to mind are California, New York, and New Jersey, and the other typical liberal state. But Hawaii has a lot of gun control laws in place. For example, Hawaii has a ban on carrying your firearm outside your own home, which totally defeats the purpose of owning a firearm to defend yourself and your family. Yesterday, a U.S. District Court shot down two laws that the judge found unconstitutional. In order to buy a firearm in the state of Hawaii, you have to have a state-issued permit which has a short shelf life of only 10 days. The government claimed that only allowing 10 days from issuance to purchase somehow helps with public safety. Judge J. Michael Seabright wrote, and I'll put what he wrote up on the screen so you can follow along with me, the government makes no effort to explain how this promotes public safety. That is why the law is a reasonable fit to its asserted objective. In absence of an explanation, the court's best guess at the government's reasoning is the law ensures that individuals do not make use of a permit to acquire after they become disqualified from owning a gun, but that this promotes public safety is not a common sense conclusion. In fact, the opposite could be true. By shortening the permit use period to reduce the likelihood that disqualifying charges occur before the applicant obtains the handgun, the law arguably increases the likelihood that individuals will already be in possession of a gun should a disqualifying charge occur. This outcome could negatively impact public safety by increasing the probability that unqualified individuals may be in possession of guns. I don't know about you guys, but I really like this judge. The second law that was shut down requires buyers to present their newly purchased firearm to the local police station for inspection and registration. So when you finally manage to get a firearm in the state of Hawaii, you have to go to your local police station to make sure the gun you purchased is the same firearm that is on your permit. The judge wrote, the government wholly fails to demonstrate how the in-person inspection and registration requirement furthers these interests. It merely states that ensuring that the registration information is accurate, ensuring that the firearm complies with Hawaii law, and confirming the identity of the firearm can be easily accomplished by simply bringing the firearm to the registration for inspection. It is important to note that Hawaii is the only state to require an in-person inspection and registration of a firearm. In the end, Judge Seabright, applying intermediate scrutiny, struck down both laws. He ruled that both the 10-day expiration and the in-person registration requirement are unconstitutional violations of the Second Amendment. Well, that's huge news for the Second Amendment, and especially the citizens of Hawaii. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below about this great news. And if you enjoyed the video, or if I gave you some information you didn't know, Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit those post notifications, and I will see you in the next video.